Hey guys, it is Chef Rama here from Wannabe Chef and thank you in advance for joining us. For you guys um, that are new here with us, welcome to the Wannabe Chef community. We're all about teaching women and their families how to cook plant-powered meals smarter, not harder, okay? So you guys know that Chef Anita, my co-partner, and my mom um, also share some videos as well, but we sometimes take turns, okay? So I'm so excited that you joined me. And for those of you that don't know, we're on Facebook as well at Wannabe Chef. That's our page. Our group name is Wannabe Licious Soiree. And on Instagram at Wannabe Chef. All the details are down here on the description. Okay, so let's get started with our weekly episode. Uh, today we're making, are you guys ready for this? This is super cool. We're making a edamame, a spicy edamame salsa. You heard me right. Spicy edamame salsa. So if you're like me and tons of other people in the world, you know that tomato salsas are amazing, but sometimes you get exhausted with eating them. You're just bored, right? Or I've been hearing a lot of my clients who are intolerant to tomatoes or allergic to tomatoes, or for those of you who suffer from acid reflux, like I used to when I was pregnant with each one of my children, that was a long time ago, um, I couldn't do tomatoes. They would just make me really um, acid refluxy, if that's a word. Uh, so I like to come up with like different versions of salsa to kind of dip with some tortilla chips, put in a sandwich, use some red pepper sticks or cucumbers, and uh, just do something fun with it. So a spicy, edamame salsa. So I'm gonna do my camera down a bit and let's start and let me quickly show you. All our recipes are really easy, so hang on, okay? We are doing one fourth of a cup of edamame. Okay, so we're just gonna go ahead and do a rough chop on this. You could make this into a salad by keeping them whole, but we're not going to. We're just gonna do a rough chop. Edamame is a great source of protein and also calcium. It's got some calcium in there. Okay, and it's vegan too, right? We try our very best to show you all our recipes vegan, but also substitutions of adding cheese or dairy if you would like, okay? So a rough chop on this, I'm gonna make sure that I get it nice and minced, kind of like garlic, okay? Kind of like if you had minced garlic. And you could use a food processor for this, or you could most definitely, um, you know, do this by hand. Do whatever floats your boat, but get into the kitchen, okay? Get into the kitchen. Okay, that looks great. That's a nice rough chop on this. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and combine it with our bowl that has two tablespoons of chopped cilantro, okay? So here's our chopped edamame. Do you get where I'm going here? I mean, if you do, definitely tell me in the comments, okay? So I've got the edamame and the cilantro. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add a juice of half a lemon or lime. You choose, you choose. Do not make an excuse that you can't make this if you don't have a lime or lemon, just saying. Okay, so there we go. Oops, I got a seed right there. Okay, and then we're gonna hit this with some salt and pepper and some salt. And I've got a jalapeno. I like spicy, so I'm gonna get a quarter of a jalapeno, keep the seeds in and give this a good mince. For those of you that don't like spicy, go ahead and um, take the membranes out of this and the seeds and chop it up. If you can't do any spice, just omit the jalapeno part, right? All I'm doing is I'm taking my knife and running it back and forth, mincing it just like this. If you don't have a jalapeno, you can do some crushed red pepper. It's all up to you, okay? It's all up to you. You make it yours, okay? So, I love spicy. I'm putting the quarter of a jalapeno. Almost there, almost there, almost there. Bear with me. I also feel like cucumbers would be an amazing addition to the salad. I mean, to the salad, to the salsa. You know what I mean? I think it would. So. That is basically it. I'm gonna grab a spoon, get a little bit of extra virgin olive oil, put about a tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil, and I'm gonna give this a mix. By the way, not that I planned this, but <laughs> this reminds me of the St. Patrick's Day salsa. Look how cool this is. Okay, I'm gonna bend down just a little bit. Oh my gosh. This is a party. 
Oh my gosh, this, you guys, this is a party in my mouth right now. Totally, absolutely amazing. So delicious, so easy. I think I'm gonna just have this as a snack. Like I think this would be an awesome snack with tortilla chips or a cracker. Anyways, you guys, if you wanna see more recipes like this, go ahead and subscribe right down here to Plant Based by Wannabe Chef. You will get notified with all our brand new recipes. We love questions, we love comments. Whenever you're stuck in the kitchen and you need help, you know where to find us, okay? Plant Based by Wannabe Chef. Okay guys, have such a beautiful day. I'll see you soon, bye.